Remember in the prior election, Joe Biden got 51% of the vote, Donald Trump 46% of the vote. Uh, why does this matter? Because of these swing states, Brian. Yeah, so here's the difference on the national poll. Trump, despite 91 charges and four indictments, is a choice, even when you break it down, of the majority of the American public so far as we look at it. Yeah, when so we look at the battleground states, this is the key. Yeah, so a little bit of a recap right here in Nevada. Uh, Trump, uh, Biden won this by three points, a couple thousand uh, separating Georgia and Arizona. And then you got uh, Wisconsin that he won by one point. You got three points in uh, Michigan. And then you got two points in Pennsylvania. Right, right now, this is the only place that Biden's winning. How extraordinary is this? Georgia is suing him, by the way, uh, after the way he acted after losing the election. I'm talking about the president of the United States. And so the people of Georgia say, I'd rather have him than Joe Biden. But there are some mulligans, some, some uh, outliers that are really going to mess with this race. Well, because you got some folks that are going to just want to be disruptors in the race. They outside really the major part. Outside the major part. So RFK said, look, I tried to do it within the Democratic Party. I, I, I tried to work with you guys, but y'all pushed me out, so now I'm in. Apparently, he's getting 24% support in six swing states, Brian. Right. Does He said, I don't even want to run as no labels. I'm going to run as RFK Jr. And we'll see. I don't even want the green label. This is the highest mark for an uh, independent candidate since Ross Perot, before he dropped out and got back in.